parish, Yaakov Avinu gives his final brochus to his children, to the Shvotim. And Shimon and Levi don't get a brocha, they just get powerful criticism. And yet, Shimon and Levi, Rashi brings, Shimon became the Malam de Tzimekis, the teachers of the children of Klal Yisrael, and Levi, Shevet Levi, Kahuna, the servants of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Beis HaMikdash. Strange, isn't it? Yaakov Avinu singles them out for harsh criticism, and yet they have this exalted position. They're teaching our children. They're serving in the Beis HaMikdash. How do we account for that? How do we understand that? Yaakov Avinu criticized them for what they did in Shechem. And what did they answer him? After, after they killed the people of Shechem, and Yaakov was furious. He said, what did you do to me? And they said, Could we permit them to treat our sister the way they treated her? And that's the answer. They, more than their brothers, the Pesach says, Shimon of Levi, Achedina, her brothers. She had 10 other brothers, but they were Achedina. They were the ones who showed brotherly love, brotherly respect. And because of that, because of that, they were the ones, because they were concerned for Kalal Yisrael, they were the ones who were given the mission of teaching the children of Kalal Yisrael and serving Kalal Yisrael in the Mokim Kaddish in the Beis HaMikdash itself. That's what Abbas Yisrael does, feeling of responsibility, achrayas, for our brethren.